Hi, and welcome to our P6 video tutorial series. Today, we're going to be looking at the different types of ways that we can remove relationships, along with removing these relationships in the masses and removing those relationships from an entire project. So let's jump in. So in our activity screen that we see here, I'm highlighted on this activity. And at the bottom, notice we have this relationships tab. If you don't see the relationships tab, you can just right click right here, customize details, and then you could find that column over here and add it in. So we see that this activity has a predecessor. And then to remove that, all we have to do is click on remove right at the bottom. Are you sure you want to remove the relationship? We select yes. So we see in the Gantt chart that we no longer have that relationship between those two activities. So if we go down to this set of activities here, we can actually go into our Gantt chart and use the relationship lines that we have in here to remove uh, the logic that we have tied. So if we look at this activity right here, we want to hover until we see that white arrow pointing up and then click. And then notice whenever we click, that arrow has now turned blue. So on our keyboard, we can just press delete and we see that yes is already selected. So we can press enter. And so we see that that relationship between those two activities is gone. And what's also happened is it automatically went and that blue arrow moved to the previous activity. So if we wanted to continue removing logic this way, we could just press delete and then enter. And the next one is highlighted, delete, and then enter, delete, enter, delete, enter, and then delete and enter. And so we have removed all relationships from this set of activities. So another way that we can also remove logic is if we go into our activity network screen, which is up here at the top, notice we see this is showing everything for the whole entire project, but we have all of our WBS elements in here. And so when we click on this one, we see our activities along with the relationships between those. So we can do the same thing that we saw before. We can select that arrow, press delete on the keyboard, and then select yes. Select the arrow, delete, and then yes. Going back to our regular view, I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and we're going to look at a different way. So to remove activities uh, more in mass and without having to use that Gantt chart and use uh, the relationship lines that we have in the Gantt chart, what we can do is we can select by um, selecting that first activity that we have, holding shift on our keyboard and then selecting the last one. Then over on the right hand side, we want to click on the predecessors box. And so we see right here that we have our activities and we'll do the same thing. We'll start at the top, select that, press shift. And then we see that that red X pops up so we can click on that red X to remove the relationships, select yes. And so we see in our Gantt chart that we no longer have the logic tied between those relationships. Another way that we could remove logic for the entire project is the easiest way to probably look at it is by going into our group and sort and then getting rid of any of our levels that we have and just having everything as just a single list. And then we could remove it the same way that we just did by starting at the top and then selecting all the way at the bottom or control A. And then we would follow the same steps by going into our predecessors. We could select control A and then we could remove those relationships. And so once we select control A, we have everything in there 
We could click on this red X to remove the relationships. However, um, it takes a long time, so I'm not gonna run it because we have a different way to also look at removing these relationships um, from the entire project. But if you wanted to do that, then you could do it this way. Um, reason being, you might be handed over a project that um, the relationships on there, it's just, it's a mess and you'd rather just kind of start from scratch and then tie your own logic and, um, and build your own relationships with these activities. So if we did hit the red X right here, then it would remove every single relationship that we have within this project. But I'm gonna close out of this and then show you another way to remove it from the entire project. So if we go into our project screen right here, the project that we're working in, we see it at the top, is project one. So what we can do is we can copy this project and then we can paste it wherever we want. So we see our options that pop up. We can just say, okay, on this one, our WBS options, sure, we can bring over all of these. But when we get to this next screen, notice this relationships tab. What we can do is we can uncheck this box. And when we hit okay, it's going to copy that project, but it's not going to bring across any of the relationships. So let's go ahead and do that. And so we see by this code right here, this PR1-1, that's telling us that this is the copy of the project that we just made. So if we right click and then we open that project and then we go into our activities. If we look at our Gantt chart, notice we do not have any logic tied whatsoever. So like I said, there are multiple ways to remove logic or relationships from your project. It really just depends on if you need to remove in bulk, if you need to remove from the whole entire project, if you just need to remove from a couple of activities. Um, so whichever way you want to choose, go ahead with that. Um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more tutorial videos.